Hi guys and welcome to another new series. So we're actually in Skyrim today, but we are going to be doing some Minecraft in a minute. Um, I just wanted to show you guys one of the forts in Skyrim for those guys that don't know. We're just going to take some inspiration from this kind of fort. This is the one I've kind of have um, an idea for. So um, I'm going to wander around. I'm going to talk about a couple of the features that I'm going to try and put in. And yeah, it's going to be kind of cool. So yeah. So obviously Skyrim. If you guys haven't, don't know about Skyrim, you really should check it out. It's an awesome game. Um, Right, gates, we are going to have some gates, we are actually going to have some a door on our gates, so we're not going to have it as run down as this, but I do want one run down. Uh, I'm also going to have some interior areas, and we are going to have one tower, maybe two towers, I'm going to keep it quite low. I haven't decided yet, if we actually got up here, if we got one of these towers, probably not going to have it either open. But what I haven't decided is if we're going to have, know, where is it, there you go, like a breach in the wall down there. So it's whether we have something like that, but I do want to have some stables uh, and some living areas and stuff like that. And it's weather, actually. We might be able to build something like this into it. But this is the kind of style we're going to go for. Quite worn down um, as a fort. It's not going to be one that's, uh, you know, it's, it's not been kept up, up to scratch. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> but it will be quite interesting to do. It's the style we're going to go for. going to go quite messy and... Um, yeah, guys, let's uh, get into it and we'll, we'll get into Minecraft. We'll start planning out, which is going to be the first stage. So let's go into that. Okay, so here in Minecraft. So the actual place that I'm building it is pretty much above uh, Wagrandale when I was building this little series here. Uh, and then we've got the grove over there, so it's, it's not too far at all. And I kind of I know I discussed it in, in Wagrandale, so we're actually going to get onto that one. That's what we're going to do. Now, I haven't got a name for this place yet. Um, I don't want to call it, I don't want to call it like Wagrand Fords or whatever. Um, so if you guys can come up with a fort name, that would be awesome. Um, and again, it's going to be like a more of a Skyrim-y one, and the people themselves are of Nordic descent. So I don't know if we want to try and like do some mixing and matching of names, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of see. Um, so I've got a brush, anyway, which will destroy destroy Darth Nygma's amazing trees. Um, which is quite a bit of a shame, but specifically designed to destroy it. Why is that one different? That's interesting. Apparently is. Um, so for you guys that don't know, I know that I've had it a couple times in the, the comments of you know how do I use World Edit with the custom uh, blocks and stuff like that. Uh, grab a tool, do tool info, and then you can literally just right click with that and it will tell you. So that's 18, 18 colon 13. Uh, say this block over here, the blue schist, uh, 235 colon 2. That's how you do it, and that, that'll be your world, your world edit uh, value. Same for World Painter as well, it's exactly the same, it's really useful. Um, Pocket Phoenix actually told me about it on one of the streams, and if he didn't tell me about it, then uh, I, I just wouldn't know. So all I'm doing is just like adding in the mask at the minute. Uh, I could obviously just do a, a widespread on on the, the actual lead values, but I'm not going to. Uh, I think I might even, as well, with this be a sphere, I might make it a bit bigger, so I've just got like an airbrush, essentially. So yeah, this is the area that we're going to do. I don't know what... It's going to be a little bit run down. It's not going to be one of the mo one of my more used ones, and I'll show you guys why. If I get the map up, um, so we've got the capital down here, and this is actually where we've got the fort, as you can see on this bit. And this is halfway. Well, it's actually probably two thirds. It's on the like the two thirds of the way down. And then we've got the orcs up here. So this coast is going to have more manned forts, um, and then down here it's going to be less manned. And I have been thinking about having some sort of war going on between uh, this kingdom and also one of the other ones. So this is quite low down. It's on the wrong coast as well. So maybe they're, they're actually pulling men away from these forts uh, and onto the front lines or onto, onto you know, what, what I'm calling the Iron Coast, which is this entire coastline going down here. It's the Iron Coast and you've got the Iron Mountains, which is, is across this arm, uh, which kind of works as well. So it's going to be a quite run down one. It's not going to be... Um, it's not going to have a, you know, it's not it's not going to be built up at all. It's just going to be run down in general uh, and less men and all that kind of stuff. That's the idea of it that we're going to have in it. So, But it's still going to be an ancient fort from, from the time when, um, like, well, one of the Orc Wars. There's a couple Orc Wars now. Um, <laughs> it's happened a couple times. Uh, during during the beginning, it was just the, the Nords and the Elves, the High Elves, um, that were actually... Actually called the Wise Elves, they're not really High Elves, but um, those guys uh, were actually uh, who, who used to own this land, and then it got given to the Nords, and then the Nords got invaded. So that was the first kind of like invasion, and they they were able to beat them back. 
uh, but that's going to be like successive ones over the time. And uh, I know that you guys did, weren't too keen on the, the Dark Lord thing, too Lord of the Ringsy, which is fair enough. Uh, it is quite Lord of the Ringsy. Right, I'm just going to do a little bit of stuff. Sorry, I'm just going to get some stuff. Uh, I'm having a look at this area. You know, like when I was looking at the Skyrim one, I was thinking if I wanted to have like a, a kind of like bigger area. I think it might be here because then we can have something like a tower on this rock, right? So we got a tower here, which looks over, but actually the back of it is is like somewhere where they can walk. Maybe we can go up here where there's a chest. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> could make it really scary, we? Couldn't we? Where you you know you go through the entire dungeon down here and you get up here. You can only get up here from that. Actually, I'm going to do that probably. So the only way you can get to the top of the whatever this this the little building will be here and a bit over there will be through the the other. We might as well make it like Skyrim. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's the side I'm going to do it on. It's either that or or over here. We do it at an angle because there's also like a nice area here. But then if we bring that up, then that brings this bit up. Whereas here we can make a wall. Uh, the other thing that I, I need you guys to kind of like help me with is should I make a path, like a weird mountain path going. Um, from somewhere from here, the wheel, wheel like kind of like wiggles down into this bit. Because there's this natural bit where we go from here, and it could wrap around here, right? Go there, go up here, and actually it'll follow down here. And what if it goes down this hill, we get it to the steps where the grove is. So do we want to do something like that? Because I was going to have a camp. I started to flatten out the land for it. I'm probably going to do that. Uh, maybe record that today as well. Uh, just like a very, very small series about making a camp. So that, that the camp might be here uh, anyway. Just so they're going to have a couple couple of people just chilling out. Whether they're going to be uh, scouts or something, I don't know. Maybe they could be they could be bad guy scouts or something. Uh, that have come and, and been able to get over the hill. And they're, you know, they're, they're looking down at this fort for some reason. God knows why. Maybe they're just, they're just seeing, you know. Okay, well, look, this, this nation's looking really strong, actually. They're not. You know, because that could definitely happen. Right, now the only problem with the trees is that they've completely destroyed the hill here, but that's fine. And rebuild and reshape. See? Good as new. No, no one ever know that that was uh, destroyed. <laughs> right, so we'll have something there. We'll have the wall going across this bit. Maybe a tower there. And then from this we'll have uh, yeah, a tower there. Probably the wall go out a bit. Right, so we have quite. We could actually, actually, actually have just a very, very round, round section here, not, not an actual tower, just, just like a big, rounded wall thing, uh, which might be interesting. That would go around here. Uh, let's get rid of this tree. There we go. That tree's gone. That tree's gone. Probably now these, these trees definitely need to go. They're in the wrong place. So that will go across to this bit. The gate is probably. Let's have a look. So I know before we had a look at the path for this. So the path is going to go up here. So we actually we mark the path. Let's do that. And I've got orange wall in my hand. I think I'm going to have to switch that because I've got orange wall for a lot of the paths around. So I'm just going to mask two, which is which is grass. Uh, if I put on one and one. So I think to have, have the path go from here and go up, or this path is going to go to there, isn't it? Or there, and we have it go up. I think it would make more sense if they were doing a defensive type thing. They might even have a very, very small wall here. Just going across, just to cut across. So I think I might do that. Right, so then this path will go around here. I'm going to go around to that bit. Okay. And then where is it naturally going there? Probably around here. I'm going to have to get rid of this tree. Oh, I do like these trees. They look good. But they're going to have to all die. <laughs> maybe, maybe not all die. <laughs> But a lot of them are are going to have to disappear. It's a bit of a shame, but that's the way it is. Right, so this will go around here, and then we'll have another little wall around this bit. Um, yeah, and by wall, I really do mean like like we've got around the coastal fortification, very very small, maybe bigger than that, uh, as if as if they could grab you know men, get them on the wall quickly, fire arrows, and then they retreat to the next next set where there's another set of guys firing arrows. Um, then, then the guys that were down there would then run into the next one and, and reload, get look, get all their arrows together and stuff like that. So not not really a prolonged battle, more of a um, you know be able to deal with them quickly type of thing. That's what I'm thinking. Right, and that would work. For that and this this is probably going to be the gate. So we're going to have a uh, angled gates, which isn't a problem. Um, so we're going to have angled gates then. 
And we're just going to keep that going to there, I think. And we'll leave it like that. Uh, so we don't need this. But we most likely need some sort of wool. We'll go with, we'll go with pink. Nice bright pink. Excellent. Good strong colour. <laughs> and there's a reason we uh, I, I usually do it in that rather than using actual materials for it. It, j it makes it makes it easier you can you can do it directly with the materials absolutely like there's not not any reason why not to do that so I'm just having a look at this one two one yeah there's no reason why one why, why you shouldn't do it you know but I find it easier to do it with um, like colored blocks for this kind of stuff uh, it just just seems to be a little bit nicer one two have it go into there, so here we go, one. And that'll go to wherever that'll go to. Uh, so we'll get this kind of like rounded bit on this, on this hill, which would be quite nice. And I'll, I'll sort out the rock with it as well and meld it all in and all of that kind of stuff. So I'll have stuff like this, so it goes into there and goes into there. And uh, maybe we can, you know, have some of these and we'll have some support somewhere and all that kind of junk that you have to do. <laughs> so I have all of that there. Um, that'll go up to that bit. Well, this bit will be a probably keep it as a rock as well so it might actually keep it as a rock we'll probably end up knocking back some of this but I want to keep it quite natural uh, definitely so if we're gonna go for a tower we'll go one two three four five one 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 two three four five one one two three four five five one one, two, three, four, five, one. Something like that will do. Um, not a, not a group, like massive tower, but still big enough. Okay, so that goes down to there. Obviously, we've got this, uh, and we'll keep it at a general angle. There, one, two, one, two. Something like that will do. And then this bit was going to go up to there, wasn't it, as well? So maybe this will just be a, a higher raised bit, you know, so we might even actually just have, uh, probably going to have a wall around about here, just following this. Something like that, and it'll just, it'll, it'll be flat, but it won't, it won't be any further back from this, and we'll just have this bit as a, a grassy area or something, I don't know, we'll put some bushes and, and stuff like that on it. So we fine. So yeah. This this fort is going to be one of the ones that's been obviously been used in the Orc Wars, um, and it's not going to be playing a part in the Kingdom War or whatever it's going to be called. It's going to be probably going to be uh, or would have been multiple Kingdom Wars in order to do it because I haven't decided on all the all the what called Western Western Kingdoms yet. I know that this one descended from the Nords, but I haven't figured out how uh, like the other the other people came in. So um, I've got a story for how the Oriental people came in, and they landed. They landed like uh, quite a long time ago, but they they didn't really want anything to do with the elves. They didn't want anything to do with the Nords. Uh, they're pretty happy by themselves. That, that's the idea with them. But I don't know about the the rest of the kingdoms, kind of like Frenchy kingdoms, because we are. I, I have decided. I know you guys were. You guys have said some like stuff about the, the French kingdom and said, well. Why not go for a Frenchy style one? And actually, yeah, I might as well. So I'm, I've decided now I'm going to go for a Frenchy style one. Um, I don't know where that's going to be because this is going to be like more of a Germanic, -y, Germanic like one. Uh, descend descended Nords, not actual Nords. Uh, so that kind of that kind of style. Um, and then we're going to have this this kingdom here. This will be something. This big big area here. This open one uh, is going to be another kingdom. And then over here, this is going to be the capital of another kingdom, which will probably be split by this river somehow. And that will go all the way around here, onto these grey mountains, whatever we're going to call those. And I'm thinking of having another one down here as well. This might be the French kingdom, but I also might have the French kingdom as being this one. So I'm not sure yet. So I've got to figure out, we've got to figure out a story for those and how, how those kingdoms came to, came to be. Um... You know, were they all descendants of Nords? Because um, the elves, the elves did, you know, they were declined. They, they were declined. Yeah, they were declined at the bank. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, God knows what I'm talking about now. Yeah, the the um, the elves, the main elves, uh, did decline. So, so they they were after all wars that were going on. They and and the great forest being cut. That just 
that cut them back quite a lot. I think this is a good area for this one. Perhaps I don't really know. That's why we go for a bigger tower here or something because I don't want to make it. Don't want to make it like perfectly on, on you know spot on. It's, it's not going to be like that. So I don't want that. So we have maybe do something like this. What angle do we need to go at? Let's get onto this. Uh, one, one, two, one, two. No, right one. One two one two one, one two. Something like that. Right. I'll have a bigger tower here, I think. Maybe this will be one, two, three, four, five. One. Yeah. So this is what happens when I get concentrating, isn't it? I just stop talking. So I do do apologize for that, dudes. That's not what I'm trying to do. Uh, yeah, so the, one of the reasons I'm doing it with this this color is because I can then just mask it. You can you can mask it normally, obviously, but um, if I put in any of the natural rocks that I've also got around, then you end up uh, affecting those, which is which isn't great, really, is it? So yeah, I didn't want to do that. I just wonder if we do want to do something like that instead to have it. And I think this tower needs to be forwards. So I just need to have it, you know, like it's it, it's gone into a gap here or something, you know, one. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's better. There we go. Right, okay, let's get rid of this. I know I've destroyed some plants and stuff. It's all going to get redone anyway, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, so the elves, the elves, the the great elves, um, the Mio, I, I gave them a name. It's Mio Elfer or something, which is wise elves uh, in Old, Old Norse. They they got they got pretty pummeled from the uh, war with the Nords uh, and then with the war with the uh, with the Orcs as well just completely crippled them um, and they were they were cut back. The Oriental people then then came in and, and rather than actually attack them, they decided to retreat, which which is fair enough. Um, I decided no, actually let's not let's not risk it, uh, and they decided to go. And leave those islands, so they actually got cut back. the The forest, the great forest, was cut down like massively as well. So I'm having a drink at the minute. I've got coffee. And it's awesome, <laughs> really awesome coffee. Um, so right, so that's the that's the idea of that. Like we've got cut. I'll I'll do it's quite a flat wall, but it's quite a flat area, really, isn't it? And goddamn birds! I need to do that kill command. Somebody somebody did send me a kill command. I just need to do it really. I'm thinking this this blob here as well. Maybe we could have something on this blob. I don't know. You know, so what do how how do we do this this for? I know I was thinking about having it over here uh, and having an area. So maybe we'll have an area here, like a you know something there, and maybe we we have something over here as well. It was quite big, you know. Yeah, you know. What was I talking about? I have no clue. Sorry guys, I've forgotten completely. Which is never good. Never good. Uh, you also notice how I'm doing it is completely random, which is, is the best way to do it. I think anyway. Um, as soon as you try to, to, to make like everything fit perfectly. I've done it before when, when I've tried to make it fit perfectly and it just doesn't. Things don't work that way. Um, at all. So don't. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right, I might actually go around this mound, maybe. Let me do another circular type thing. Two, one. One, oops. One, two. One. Oh God, I'm really struggling at the minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, something like that. I guess like this weird lump going out or do we actually build it onto this bit potentially yeah we could do couldn't we could actually knock that back to here or something uh, and then follow this up so what you wouldn't want to do is have an, have a way that people can actually walk around to to you know essentially attack you would be pretty damn stupid uh, and i'm i know that you guys are going to be like on on comments like crazy like no 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 you need to do this so I know that this is probably going to change, which is one of, one of the reasons I want to get a planning episode as well done, uh, is because I just know it's going to be it's going to need to change at some point. Right. Yep. So elsewhere in decline, uh, then this nation grew, 
as part of the um, right view the West West Nordland, I think I've called it. So um, the snare snare board or something snow snowland um, is what the Nords were known as at, at that time anyway, because they were weren't united. Um, they were united when they attacked the when they attacked the uh, elves. They're united under a shield maiden, but um, it was just known as the Snowlands. It wasn't known as an actual kingdom or, or lands or anything. It was just this is the Snowy Lands. We are the people of the Snowy Lands. We're different tribes and stuff like that. And then this was west, west of west of them. So it was like the Westerlands or whatever, um, which was gifted to them. Right, how am I going to do this bit? I think it needs to go up there, doesn't it? It needs to be like a, you know. Just knock into this completely. I don't want to have it where you, if I do do a path there where you can just walk in, it'd be really awkward, wouldn't it? But at the same time, do we want to have like an actually no? We could we could do it that way, couldn't we? We could have it, you know, where you can't walk in from it, but there is actually um, like an, another gate here or like a kind of like what I did with the Roman fort, where we have you know an area where you can actually escape to because they would need to get out if they, if they if they were really really screwed. Then they can actually escape, they can go up that mountain way and, and make it to another fortification somewhere, you know? So maybe that is a good idea, as an escape route rather than anything else. And, and also, you know, it was an escape route or something when, when they're thinking more militarily and then it's going to change. So yeah, that sounds good. I like that idea. I'm going to go with that idea. Unless you guys think it's a terrible idea, and then, then I'll change it. <laughs> so there is that. Right, so we're gonna have a wall going around here. This could just be literally a, a very thin wall, but not one that's walkable. Um, I think this bit here needs to be a one, three. I'm thinking about doing a uh, another tower. I know I didn't want to do a lot of towers, but it kind of makes more sense though. So we'll do that. Two, three, four, five. So something like that there. Because it's just, just, just a very nice natural spot to see if there were people coming from maybe that way. I mean, they probably wouldn't be. They'd be looking more this way. But then it gives them another, another vantage point, doesn't it? Uh, in case they were trying to get through there. Or something like that. You know. Whatever. Uh, right, so we need to get rid of these trees, I think. Um quite sad when you have to destroy trees, but it's the way of it. We are going to do some overgrown stuff. We can always put the trees back, that's the thing, you know. We can always put them back. Right. Okay. Yeah, so then this king kingdom came up. And I think after the Orc Orcish Wars, the first one, they, they kind of formed their own under under a king of some kind. They were still part of those uh, the Nord Nord Alliance or whatever, I don't know, Nord Alliance sounds really bad, doesn't it? Doesn't sound very cool. Um, something that's very cool that sounds Nordic. Um, <laughs> the first Nord Kingdom or something, I don't know, the, the first King, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, we could come up with something, couldn't we? Yeah, first Kingdom of the Nords or whatever it's going to be. Something like that would do. Okay, let's have a look at this weird shape thing. That is a weird shape, isn't it? But that'll do. That's quite good, though. Right. Okay, let's get rid of these. Let's have a look at the layer of the land. And figure out what we want to do next. In our planning stage, our initial planning stage. Yeah, I definitely think this needs to be up higher, because the, the vantage point is brilliant. You know, you've got the view of the gates. So you might have something like here, and then we actually have an inner... You could have another, not really a tower, but maybe just like a little wall that goes to here, and then we just have a very small wall here with another another set of gates. And this goes into this bit, and then we get a, a building of some kind, so it's almost like an extra... Your extra layer, and then if that fails, then they can escape through the... Uh, devils... Devils... The Devils Run, the Devils Canyon... Devil's Path, I, I, I don't know, something, <laughs> god knows, there'll, there'll, be, there'll be something we can come up with, or whatever this will be called, the, the, the Shepherd's Walk Path, 
I'm not doing very well at all. You know, the sheep, the old goat's path. I, I don't know. Uh, something like that would would do fine, right? Like, the only thing about this is, you know, you get this weird like look down, but you do get those in Skyrim as well. You now we can look down and you go, oh, that doesn't look so good. Maybe we could do some, um, you know, some rocks or something. You know, like the the kind of like shrine things. You know, just a way shrine up here or something. Or Daedric. I, I have thought about that. If we have like a darker religion around, like like the Daedra, uh, it might be quite interesting as well. Okay, so this I'm still not that happy about it. It feels like we need another tower somewhere. So because we've got to these two here, this we've got the big bell, and then uh, big bell, the big bump, the big bump. Uh, then we've got another tower there, right? And from here we've got a bigger tower. There's nothing here. There's n there's nothing at all on this bit. I mean I. Don't expect they would actually. I'm, I'm thinking just a low one, you know, not like a, a tall one at all. Like just a low one where it's enough to look over, like bigger than the wall, but not that much bigger, you know, not much at all. So maybe we do something here. Let's cut it out. So what do we do? One, one, two, three. Do we do like a really small one? No, actually, I, I want a bigger one. I think. One, two, one. Two, three, four, five, one. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, two, three, or something. Yeah. And then that could just tie into like an extra bit or something. Yeah. That would work. Okay. Definitely would work. That'll do. Okay, so that that one works. And obviously I'll, I can sort out this path, so that's not a problem. I'll do that off camera at some point. Probably when we're, we're happier with it. Um, now for now, what I might do is get up that other brush, just because we we can do some other stuff on camera well. Just to get the initial bit done. So I'm just getting Excel open on my other screen to get the brushes. Uh, probably Darkstone Cobble, I think. It's going to be for this one, so we'll grab. Uh, no, we'll grab some red wool. It's a different. A different colour. And we're going to use a. Uh, no, I don't like this. I don't like using the swords. I don't know why. Diamond shovel. Yeah, why not? Okay. So mask 35, colon 14. And that's that one. So it's just. Um, the brush is just 1, colon 5, and 2, 1, 8, colon 2. Um. And all that is, I'll show you, I will show you, if we just get a little bit of wall going. It's just like the uh, dolomite type texture, you know, the rock uh, thing, and also, oops, sorry, okay, I'm not very good with concentrating at the minute. <laughs> I, think it's, it's, I think it's talking and, and actually building, which is not good. Uh, and it's also the dark cobblestone. That's what I was trying to say. Those are the two, two that we've got. Actually, you'd probably do something like this, wouldn't you? You'd have it, you'd have it so that you, you wouldn't have it following the path all the way because that doesn't make any sense. But you'd have it where you have something like this. There we go. And that's all I was going to do with that because then it it, it forms into uh, this this rock that I've made here. You know, th this texture, this this mix, uh, really nicely to the point where you can hardly even see it, which is exactly what we want. I can hardly even see it. Let's probably have something like this. Right. There. And it's just basically something where you'd be able to go behind it and shoot down on that path without any problems at all. That's what's in my head for this. There you go. I know you can't can hardly see over that wall, but you'd you'd be able to see over it, right? Um, and that goes down here. So it's whether we have another wall. Obviously, these trees are in the way, um, but I'm tempted just to keep them because otherwise it's going to look too bare if we if we don't, you know, if we do anything with it. So this is going to be a protected wall in case in case like the villagers need to go up it or something. That's that's my thinking behind it. Uh, is is if the villagers did need to use it, then they've got some protection. Just using a wall in case there was, you know, 
So I think the, the orcs in my head are going to have like crossbows and stuff like that. So they're going to be pretty bad. <laughs> so I mean, the, this would at least protect you from crossbow bolts if they were chasing them uh, up here. Hopefully they would have seen them, you know, before then and, and called the alarm or whatever. Um, you know, the town bell. Maybe we could actually make a town bell in Vikerdale. So I've still not um, made the video for that. I'm going to make like a, 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 a cinematic type video where it, where it goes over storyline and things. So I've still got a little bit to do before that's all done. There we go. Something like that would do. Right, we just go. Yeah, got a path here. Go up here. There we go. We're protected. We're protected. We're not going to get shot or anything. Not too much anyway. We hope. Um, there we go. And the good thing is about this, it's not stopping them from being able to shoot from here. That's why that's why I've built it on the other side. It's purely so that we can just shoot at these different layers. layers. Um, so they might send soldiers down here. They'll shoot on, on the orcs that have landed on the beach and are running up. Uh, they'll go to these guys. These guys will then go to the next step. They'll get in. Once they're in, the pretty damn safe um, yeah it's not too bad right okay so I think we'll probably have some sort of wall of some kind going around this bit right that's one tall plant <laughs> so some some sort of like uh, building right here yeah, pretty pretty boxy kind of building uh, we'll have some like hall or something maybe this could be just a barracks and yeah, we could have just the normal guys' barracks that's around here. It's just a, it's just a pretty flat building uh, built into the hill. And there's not really too much to it. You could probably do with, uh, well, this this bell here. I keep on calling it the bell. Why do I keep on calling it the bell? That's really weird. don't know why. This will be probably quite thick. This bit, right? Quite thick. Um... Um, probably have it in a couple blocks in general because I'm, I'm pretty happy with this bit so I don't think this bit's going to change just because it's uh, I quite like it this is really weird really really weird because that's all the way down there <laughs> it's dancing on the side of it that's just so strange um, so I have it quite thick anyway um, like that and probably just do this for now so I can go around all of this and get it. And I think with with inside this, uh, we would have some sort of building. Why well, not? Maybe not a building. We could even just have like the blacksmith type area here or something. Uh, and then we go up onto this bit where we get the officers' quarters type area at a weird angle, um, which would be quite good, I think. So we'll have like it's slightly different um, depending on it. But that will go down there. Small wall there. Uh, I'm wondering. So we've got these gates here, you'll then go in. Wonder if we need to do you know where we where we get with, with the bell, maybe we put a little bit of a wall going out with with that. So you end up having uh I'm just gonna end up calling this the bell, I think, uh, this bit. Um so I'm just gonna sort this out. It's just for some reason it was annoying me because it's off, because I, I can't then figure out how big I'm going to go. Right, okay, is that better? That's where it's supposed to be, isn't it? That's was quite thick, this, and, and we can cut into it. Uh, we're probably going to end up cutting into it, especially on the outside, just to make it look really, really cool. And like it did have styly bits, but it's also going to be pretty broke. <laughs> not like majorly broke. I'm definitely, I'm, I've decided not to have a hole in the wall now as well, so I think I think they, they wouldn't stand for that. Maybe uh, like in other kingdoms we're going to have like broken wall ones because they're not as used to used to war or anything like that. You know they they built them for for that for one of the orc wars ages ago and it just never used it or something you know it never they never got that far and they've gone well king spent a lot of money on that and it never got used or something you know you know something like that would do uh, would would annoy the people so we've got two there okay so two two oh it just goes two two doesn't it yeah so we'll just go from there go back and this is where I'm thinking of having a sticky outy bit like from here and then that'll go around here or something you know somewhere where if they did come in uh, they could then shoot at them um, 
almost like another again another layer of defenses as well as around here we'd probably have another gate uh, it's another layer of defense so maybe we'll do something like that so we'll have like that there so we go all the way out to like here or something this rock yeah, around here I'll do uh, one one two three one and it'll get back or something you just have like a rounded tower Well, that's the style that we're going for, and then I'll connect into there. You know, something like that. You know, just some pretty simple. Um, and it's just going to be a walkway. It's not going to actually have a tower on it or anything like that. It's just going to be uh, a bit of a box, and then that can actually have the stables. Ah, we go. That works. Stables then can can then be attached onto the side of that blacksmith or something over there. Um, I'm just going to make this a little bit longer. Okay, so yeah, stables on there. Blacksmith type area there. Uh, the main eating place will be there. And then we can have some like target practice stuff on the back here or something. Uh, another set of gates would go across here. So let's get that sorted as part of the design. We've got this thing here. Uh, I was going to have this going out, wasn't I? Yeah, so this is also going to be another one that goes out. But this will be a little bit slimmer, I think. It's, it's more of an in... You know, in inside kind of thing. So it'll be like, like literally there. Huh? Okay, that's a bit weird, but I'll make it a bit bigger than that. So it goes to like there or something, you know. Uh, there we go. So that'll go to there. Be some maybe a smaller bit coming off of it or something, I don't know. I don't know. This is more going to be just a thing that they can stand on, really. It comes out of this tower. And stand up onto here, or maybe it's going to have the, the stairs going to it or something, you know? Just, I'm not thinking of it being that serious. Uh, for this bit, so that'll go to there. Uh, it's whether we have another bit coming out of here now, is what I'm thinking, you know? But it might be overkill. Do something like that. <laughs> to have like another bit coming out of here, and then you've got another set of defense where you can shoot down and wander up or whatever. I go into there. We also need to make sure that this is completely separate. So this wall, we might have it where you can only walk from here to here, or or from this 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 one. You can actually yeah yeah from this one here you can only you can only walk down to this wall. But this tower um, might be alone, or that tower might be alone, or something. You know, uh, where we can only get to the upper bit of the tower from from walking around here. Yeah, that would that would do it. Because I'm not going to have these in, these interior towers. You can't actually get up into them. For this one anyway. Maybe this back one obviously you can. You can you can then spiral up to it and then you'll walk down onto the top levels of these across here. Um, maybe that'll be it for that side. And then this side you'll be able to walk across onto this, but you won't be able to get any further. I kinda wanna I want to cut uh, compartmentalize it a little bit. Uh, just to make it a bit more again defensible. Alright, let's go across here then. One, one, two, one, one, two. One, one, oh, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. <laughs> well, there we go. As long as we've got that bit of the wall there, that's all I want. So there we go. That that'll go to there. That goes into that bit, and then we'll have some sort of building of some kind at a weird angle across here, which will be the the knights' quarters. As a knight would would be important enough for this. Wouldn't be a lord or anything like that. Cause that that'd be more. Uh, going around, but you never know. God knows. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good. What I might do is chunky up some of these walls, or I might just leave it until next episode to see what you guys have, uh, think and are thinking uh, for this. I think that might work. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I might even do another wall here. I was thinking about it. We're having like this gate here. Or something will have like one goes through around this bit. You know? Something like this. Does it make any sense? Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. 
God damn gravel. Right, okay. Yeah, something like that as well. You know, just a, a little wall. To get it going on that side. And probably there would also be one on this side, wouldn't there? Yeah. And there already is one there. <laughs> yeah, there already is one there. So it's whether I, I bring that onto this side as well. Because we've got... There is a potential way to get up here, isn't there? So whether we try and block it off um, from the actual official path and then that's more of, that's more of a weird side path but you actually no, you could do couldn't you because you've got the, the other path going around here so you could potentially have two paths going up to it hmm that's interesting I quite like this weaving one though it looks really cool it makes sense so there you go that's the, the plan for now um, I don't know which way is best to look at it there we go like that maybe um, so yeah we'll, we'll kind of get on to actually building it and stuff, um, but I mean, quite a lot of it will just be building upwards. If you guys are happy with this design, uh, and then we'll build it up to the, a sensible height, and put in, well, just get a good brush together, brush it all together. Uh, we'll probably do some multi-layering, so we won't just do it as a brush. Uh, typically, what I kind of like to do on the Roman one was like I'd have something like this, and then I'd actually have bits where it goes a bit lighter going up higher. So I'd end up doing like a, a moss layer, and then have another another colour for a, another rock. Uh, so I'll probably do the same here, and and we'll just put that in, and we'll do it all in wool first, because so, you can see it's so much clearer, and then you can mix those in uh, quite quite nicely. Uh, the other way you can do it, of course, is by masking a load of textures, but you do get problems when you've got certain rocks in it. So I, I try to stay away from that really, because it doesn't always work the way you want it to. Anyway, guys, that is another uh, start of the episode. So, name for the fort um, and any storylines around the kingdoms really would would, would be pretty cool because uh, we could do with uh, coming up with some. Um, but that'd be really good. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you have, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.